Hey everyone, my name is Michael Seymour. I work in the marketing department here at Holly Performance and this is day four of uh, Hot Rod Power Tour. Uh, we're in Sparta, Kentucky and this is my beautiful 1996 Buick Roadmaster Estate Wagon Limited Collector's Edition. That's a mouthful. It's the last year they made these. It has an LT1 out of a Corvette. I think it makes over 300 horsepower. It weighs 4,500 pounds. Um, it's pretty heavy, but it moves pretty good. Other than that, it's got 130,000 miles on it. Um, it was a Florida car, so not that much rust. It did spend some time in up in New York State, so it's got a block heater on it, but I don't think I'll ever use it. I thought it would look pretty cool to put this box up top, but literally it's, it's packed with all of our luggage and it looks rad. Uh, I did the trip when I coming back from originally buying it. I got 22 miles per gallon. With the box, I'm getting 18, 19, which is not bad for a 4,500 pound wagon mammoth. This, this car, long story, I'm gonna wrap it up real quick. I found it about six months ago. I was in the middle of building up a Corvette. I found it, got a good deal on it, but I went to go and try and buy it and my wife wasn't having it. Long story, she was smart and I didn't get it. So my buddy went to look at it, he bought it. He had it for roughly four months. Power steering lines went out on him. So then he was like, you can have it for what I bought it for. So I went to Virginia to get it from Kentucky, fixed the power steering lines in his parking lot and then drove it all the way back to Kentucky. Thursday night, we decided that we need to take an extra person uh, and so we need to take the Roadmaster. So I hadn't looked at the car since we got it. Uh, we put some brake rotors on it, put some wheel bearings on it and fix a bad oil leak. And then we did that Friday morning and then from there we head on out to Power Tour. Right now it's got over a thousand miles on it and it's been just fine. But man, I, I, it's, it's, I thought there was going to be some kind of issues with it. It's some noise coming from the rear end and the drive shaft, but other than that, it's been just fine. If I had more time, I would have put a little bit more things, got a little bit more work done to the car, but a uh, big plan is to maybe do some crazy engine swap and make this a super sleeper. It's grandma beige, so uh, we've got a lot of interest in it this week, and that's pretty exciting to me, so uh, I've been really happy with it so far. As you can see, suspension is really soft, and so if you modulate, it's still shaking, if you modulate the gas and the brake at a good rate, what we found is that the front wheels will lift off the ground. So we did that going into Martinsburg, Virginia on day two. And ever since we did, tried that out, the car's been making some weird sounds on the rear end and the, and the drive shaft. So and it's probably, I think it was worth it, I think. So unfortunately, today's my last day of power tour. I gotta get back to work. We're gonna head back this evening. I've had a blast this week. Hopefully next year I can come back and there'll be something a little bit better underneath the hood. I think it's beautiful. Um, I never thought I'd ever own one of these, but Really, there's a lot of potential with these cars. I think a sleep is in its future. Go for it. Really tore it up out there, man. I think every single turn we had the tires squealing. I was looking good. <laughs> 